So, real quick before we started moving again, the support squad and I wanted to give you guys one last little bonus gift that could really help you control the poses when creating new character concept art. Now this mannequin doll works for just about any AI engine that uses stable diffusion as a base, but it's exceptionally great when used with anime engines like Novel AI. Now there are two main reasons that I really wanted you guys to have access to this stable diffusion doll. The first reason is because it'll simply speed up your workflow a lot, and it'll give you a lot more control over the kind of results that you get from the AI. But the second reason is to give you legal protection against nonsense accusations. Some people really hate AI art, and some of these people will not hesitate to reverse Google image search everything you generate in order to find similar images and claim that you stole or used said image to generate your work. Now this is ridiculous because every artist takes inspiration from every other artist, and there's no possible pose that you can think of that another artist before you has not done already. But all that aside, what this doll does is give your AI art two layers of protection against these kind of accusations. If you use this doll to pose and generate your art, even if someone reverse image searches and finds something similar to what you made, if someone accuses you of stealing ideas from another artist, you can immediately respond by saying, actually no, I bought ideas from Royal Skies. So buzz off. The second layer of protection is making your work much harder to replicate. Remember, in the near future, the most important art information is going to be your prompts and your seed. If someone has your prompts and your seed, they will be able to generate an unlimited number of images just like yours. But if you use a custom posable doll with image to image, even if someone has your prompts and your seed, they will not be able to replicate your work unless they use the exact same starting image as you did. So this mannequin is an excellent way to not only speed up your workflow, but make it more unique and more resilient to legal bullshit. Now there are two variations of the doll. The first is the personal license, which includes the most useful default clothing variant that I usually use to generate my own characters. It's basically a sports bra and sports shorts. With this basic model, Novel AI is really good at recognizing where the clothing lines are and tracing them to generate new characters in the exact same pose. Something Novel AI is also really great at doing is manga style. So I've also included a black and white version of the doll that you can use to generate more traditional manga style black and white frames of your character. Both the colored and the black and white characters are just blender files, which is a free 3D software so anyone with a computer can open, pose, and screenshot the doll for any of their art needs absolutely free. If you're wondering what makes this model any different from any other rigged 3D character, the answer is this one is specifically designed for anime shading. The facial shadow normals were all done by Ruki Kuri herself, who is an expert at anime shading, and the body shadows were all manually designed with the proxy method taught to me by Yuli. So all the shadows have been manually adjusted to try and closely resemble anime. The rig itself has 16 animation drivers that will automatically adjust themselves when you move or pose the character. Normal rigs often don't have drivers so when you do things like move the legs forwards or backwards or try to do the splits, the bins will often get really ugly and fall apart. But I've programmed the drivers to fix all of that for you automatically. So you can really just pose the character virtually any way you want and the joints will bend extremely smooth and naturally. I've also added a few props like swords, shields, lances, a bow, and a pistol. Stable Diffusion isn't really that great at adding props yet, but it does help a little to have a prop built into the image. So if your character does have weapons, you can toggle them on the doll to help the AI. Now if you're trying to make money off of your art, then you probably want the commercial variant of the doll, which includes everything mentioned before, but also includes three extra outfits that you would typically find in fantasy female character design. You have the classic one piece swimsuit, which is useful whenever you're wanting to design something like a bunny girl. There are two variants of the bikini, which is great when you want to do something like an anime beach scene. And you have the succubus variant, which is a really good base for really anything vaguely resembling a bodysuit related design. So if you know anyone that likes to use stable diffusion or anyone that likes to use AI to make anime art, share this video with them, share the link to the doll, I think it'll really help them out. Also if you're new to Blender or you've never used any 3D software before, don't worry if you join me next video, I'll give you the crash course on how to pose the doll and use it to generate your own characters. Hope that helps and as always, hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around.